What's up, Reptile fans? Dave Palumbo here for Muscle Serpents Daily, and it is the weekend here. It's actually Saturday night, and I'm doing a little uh, putting males with females and uh, looking for locks and all that kind of cool stuff during the breed season. I have my albino het pied berm female here. This little Burmese python girl has gotten big. She's probably doubled or tripled in size since I've gotten her. And she is just gorgeous and uh, very tame, obviously. They, the albinos have this awesome like coloration when they're you know juveniles. This really deep oranges, man. If they only stayed like this, wow, what a good morph that would be, right? So you got to enjoy them while they're young. To me, this is actually the most fun stage. I like when they get big because they're kind of just you know muscular, big snakes. But this is like a really cool stage because they look cool. And the temperament's good, and it's almost like, you know, they're at a very manageable size, they're not so heavy, and you can kind of just enjoy them, and they just, they just want to come out and play, and they're really nice snakes. I mean, berms are very popular in the hobby because of the fact that they do have great personalities. They're the gentle giants, really, of the uh, snake world. And the truth is, you know what, if you don't overfeed your snakes, they don't get that big. I mean, yeah, I mean, if you have them for 20 years, they'll probably grow because they can grow throughout their life. But I have breeder, female and, and males that are just very reasonably sized. Now, you still need to give them a bigger cage to give them the room that they need, especially, you know, berms have, you know, need to breathe. If they don't breathe, they're very prone to respiratory tract infections. Knock on wood, I've never gotten one in a berm, thank God. But I have, I have good sized cages, as you guys have seen. So anyway, that's my little... When I come out on Saturday night, I, I play with the animals, you know. Usually during the week, I'm all busy. I gotta clean, but I'm, 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 I always do a little bit of cleaning, but I'm having fun tonight. So let's go in and take a look and see what kind of uh, locks and stuff we got going on. How's that for orange? Wow. Orange Dream, Fire, Enchi, possible Super Orange Dream, Red Stripe. There's that Red Stripe. That's a lot of orange in there really nice and you can see the the belly of these are really nice they're really white it's a really nice, nice head stamp nice looking nice little hold back this whole this whole clutch was going to go on sale and then i looked at this girl and i'm like i can't let go of this girl i gotta keep her she's too good look at this girl can you get any whiter than this black eyed leucistic super fire it's also obviously possible orange dream Possible spider, and it's a hundred percent head clown. Can't go wrong with this. You make clowns with this, all your clowns are fire clowns. This girl is just spectacular. She's gonna go up for sale. So I have a few of her. I produced a few of these. Produced a male, and I think two females. I gotta look. Um, really white. I have to imagine that there's definitely either spider or orange dream mixed into this gotta be because there's just too much white usually the super fires have a lot of yellowing in them sometimes they even have like dirtiness over here along the dorsal stripe this girl is like really really super white i don't see anything in her which tells me i would say spider probably although she's not acting any spider she doesn't really have any spiderish qualities to her but definitely orange dream or spider or both that's the that's that's the advantage of getting something like this. You don't know what you're getting. It's like a, it's like a surprise basket until you breed her, and then you get all the fun, good stuff that comes along with it. Extra, the freebies you we throw in because we don't know what's in there. Beautiful. If you're looking for a nice blue, excuse me. If you're looking for a nice black eyed leucistic, oh, if you're looking for a nice black eyed leucistic ball python, this is the one to get because this is a pure white one. And here's another female, Super Fire, Head Clown, 100%. Also possible Orange Dream, possible Spider. This one I'm more inclined to believe is probably Orange Dream. Look at those little orange dots on it. These little splotches of color. I almost, it's like almost like little character traits. I mean, that's almost like cool. Like, I like a pure white snake with black eyes. I mean, but this is, those little orange splotches are kind of really... Kind of cool they're not like dirty at all they're really clean which probably 
tells me that they're probably Orange Dream. Once again, this is 100% head of clan, another female, and is available. If you want a male, super fire, super clean, same deal. Super fire, possible orange dream, possible spider. Once again, orange blotches, probably means a little orange dream in there. I wonder if the one that has nothing on it is probably got spider. And I wonder just because, it, you know, spider, spiders, you know, re remove pattern. So that's it's possible. Or maybe it's both orange dream and spider. Hard to tell. This is a male though. So if you guys are looking for a male, here's an, a nice super fire, 100% high clown, possible super, uh, orange dream, possible spider, male. So we got both. This was a good clutch. I had some, I have some keepers in this, some vanilla creams I produced. The, the parents were a orange dream spider fire clown, that was the male, and the, and the female was a vanilla fire, which is a vanilla cream, you know, it's a acts like super. So, we did produce some vanilla cream stuff. That stuff I'm probably gonna keep. I might let one go. All right, here's a really special one. Same clutch, same parents. Here's the vanilla cream. That's a vanilla and fire. One copy of each, acts like a super. And this is also Orange Dream. So this is an Orange Dream vanilla cream. That's a tongue twister in and of itself. And it's a 100% head clown. And it's an L. So next year he'll be breeding and you can produce, I, you know, at this point, I'm uh, I was about to say, I'm putting it up for sale. Now I'm thinking, eh, maybe I should keep it. He is pretty special. I got to tell you, this guy looks really, really nice. Once again, that vanilla cream, when it acts like that super and, and blends, you get some really, really interesting, cool pattern. And that orange dream really just offsets it and gives it a, a lot more contrast. You guys know I like contrast. And then of course it's head pied. And then of course it's head clown, so that's even better. Can't beat that. And um, he's a great eater. He's perfect in every way. Gotta love this guy. Look at his belly. So, one of the stars of the clutch for sure. Now the reason I'm probably not holding back the other guy is I'm holding this, this little boy back also from the same clutch, although he's in shed right now, so you can't really see. This guy is, is, is the same genes as the other guy. This is Orange Dream Vanilla Cream, but why doesn't it look the same? Because it's got spider in it as well. And he's 100% head clown. So either I'm keeping that one or this one. This one's got the extra gene, the spider in it. it looks a little weirder, you know. But once again, you can see, you can see the, the hints of that vanilla cream in here. On the sides right here. That's that's not spider. That's that's vanilla cream. Because remember, this guy is only head clown. He's not clown. So he almost looks like he can be clown, but he's not. So that's vanilla fire. Does the vanilla cream, orange dream. Okay, which makes him super orange looking. And then he's also got the spider, which lightens and reduces pattern more. And he's 100% head clown, so he could be a, a star in his own right for sure. <laughs> so I think I'm going to keep this one. I only need, I'm not going to keep two males in the same clutch. So we'll see what I, what I decide. Uh, this guy's probably going to be the guy that I keep. I just, there's just something like weird about it. The other one looks really cool because he's got all kinds of weird contrast and stuff like that. But this guy just has like some real, like, look at the head on that. Look at this head pattern. It's just weird. Vanilla cream, all the act like supers act really weird. Like the freeways and highways. and uh, I just love those. Because they, they do such unpredictable stuff to the pattern. And then you throw a spider in there and, and you don't know what. You, it's like a jigsaw puzzle that was scrambled. Really nice looking boy. Eats great. Alright, I'll leave you with this little weekend edition we did of Muscle Serpent's Daily. With this last snake. This was, um, he's a little unpredictable. This was a black pastel pie that I bred to a Hurricane Enchi Lesser Yellow Belly 100% head pie. And obviously this was the only pie that I actually got in the clutch. Although I got a lot of other cool stuff and I've shown you that before my black pastel hurricane stuff. But this is the interesting one because this is definitely a black pastel pie, which I love. 
we love the panda pines, but I'm pretty sure there's hurricane in here because it doesn't look, it looks a lot brighter and hurricane does lighten stuff up a little bit sometimes and changes. To me, this doesn't look like blood, just black pastel pine. It looks like it's more than that. I don't know. There's really no way to, to, to prove it unless I breed her out. And so I'll probably wind up keeping her because I don't know if there's hurricane in there. But that's certainly black pastel pie, possible hurricane. That's what I'm calling it. I don't know. I don't know if there's any Enchi. It could maybe it's but see, the reason why I'm 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 against the whole Enchi thing is that Enchi usually adds pattern, adds more splotching and more color to the pies. So I would think that I would have a lot more a lot less white, I should say, if this was a um, Enchi. And I guess it's possible that there's some yellow belly in here. Hard to tell. So those are all possibilities. Definitely no lesser, lesser pies are completely white snakes with little eyes. So I'm going with black pastel pie, possible hurricane, possible yellow belly. Either way, really nice looking thing. Okay, guys, I thought I was going to be over here for 45 minutes. That's what I told my wife. She probably just, she knew better. I think I've been over here for like two and a half hours already. Uh, I got a nice mystery boa here. This girl, I'm trying to breed her this year. She's a, she got up to size pretty quick, so we'll see. You know, she might have to wait another year. We'll see, but she's a, she's a looker. She's a, I'll give you a little hint. She does have sharp albino in her, and... I'm really interested to see, you know, what we get out of her this year, if she actually does indeed produce a litter. But, hey, you know, you got to see a, a really cool uh, super fire litter that I produced of ball pythons. And I gave you a little, it's a little, like, weekend little teaser. Sometimes, you know, every, some people have been very uh, astute to point out that my daily vlog hasn't really been a daily vlog. So sometimes I throw you a bonus on the weekend because I miss a couple during the week. But, hey, that's how it works, right? All right, guys, I hope you're enjoying uh, all these videos. Keep the comments coming. They keep me inspired to keep going and talking about new stuff. This is a little bit of a slow season, but you know what? It really isn't because I have a lot of snakes still to list. So I'm going to keep showing you guys the holdbacks I have. I'm going to keep showing you guys more of the snakes that I have for sale that I haven't listed yet. And uh, that, that's still exciting stuff. And, of course, all the breeding stuff. And it's pretty soon in another month or so, all the stuff in the winter room is going to start breeding, hopefully and uh, we'll have more stuff to talk about. So once again, hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications, and make sure you hit that like button. I'll see you back Monday morning.